Welcome to DRD Technology. As an ANSYS channel partner, we provide simulation capabilities in the areas of fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, and systems and multiphysics. DRD seldom supports ANSYS software in the central United States. We also provide consulting and training for the entire ANSYS software suite. Our mission is to help clients maximize their utilization of ANSYS software to the highest degree possible. My name is Ban Banerjee, and in this demonstration, I want to show you how to export the deformed geometry out of mechanical as a PMDB file. In one of my earlier presentations that I made, I showed how to click on a result, and from that, you can right-click on export an STL file. This is one way you can actually export a geometry, and you can take that STL file within SpaceClam and do some reverse engineering to convert that faceted mesh file into an extracted solid. In this demonstration, I want to show you another alternate approach. So once you have the model solved, like you see here, we have the, the rubber cushion that's actually crushed between the two metal plates. And a quick review of the def mesh confirms that. Now we would like to take the deformed shape, and I'll show you an alternate approach. So to do that, I go back to the project page, and I drag a static structural block into the schematic and then I drag the solution from my already solved system from model A into the model cell of the static structure block B so you can see how I'm sharing the solution from the model A into the model cell of the model block B make sure you update the results which I did here so once I've updated my results I've got all green check mark then I'm ready to open up this model so I double click on the model and that should open up the model for block B. Here we can see that the geometry came in and you can see this is the deformed shape. This corresponds to the, the result from the model A for the rubber that was crushed between the metal plates. Uh, notice there's a question mark on the geometry and this is due to some missing material property and it says that the materials need to be transferred so I just need to go over and make sure I share the engineering data which then ensures that my material properties will now get transferred once I update the system and once this is done you can see all green check marks and at this point to export the geometry what you would need to do is make sure you right click on geometry and then click on export and then choose geometry and this actually writes it out as a PMDB file, which I do here. And once that uh, PMDB file is being created, what I need to do is then open this up within Design Modeler. So I can click on a geometry and then just simply open up Design Modeler and call up that file. So here you can see I'm within Design Modeler, and then I go to Import the Geometry, and then I just point uh, to that file and then I hit generate and here you can see the the deformed geometry came in very nicely within design modeler. This concludes the short presentation on how to export a deformed geometry out of mechanical as a PMDB file. Thank you for watching.